Have you ever had your spool come undone underwater where the bolt snap, the double ender comes off like that? Well, don't do that anymore. I'm gonna show you how. So you see here on my SMB, I've got a piece of bungee attached there that keeps everything nice and tight together. I also have a swivel that allows the line not get twisted. And then I have an extra piece of cord down here at the end. That's just a lark's head. And I'll show you how to make a lark's head here in a little bit. And that lark's head is what I'm going to use to attach my double ender. So I reel in a line and I take that extra piece. I pull that nice and tight. I want it nice and snug. I'm going to slide it through one of the holes there. Again, pull it snug. Put my double ender on there. I'm just going to wrap that right around the gate a couple times and then open it up and clip the line on there. Now the line is attached to that double ender and the double ender is not attached to the spool, so it can't come undone. I take that bungee, wrap it around there, all good. Now, the lark's head. I just have a simple piece of line here. I'm gonna fold that in half. I'm gonna put it where I want that piece to be. I have a loop, feed it through the loop, and that's just a lark's head. And now the ends, I'm just gonna tie in a basic square knot or an overhand knot, whichever one you want to use. I think I used an overhand knot on mine right there. So again, how this works is you unhook the double ender, pop that off. You've got your extra piece of line there. You just pull that through, take your bungee off, and open that up. Now you're going to reel that back in. I grab my extra piece of line, feed that through the hole in the spool, pull that nice and snug, and then I'm gonna clip that inside the gate. So I'm gonna open it up, clip it on the line, wrap it around the thumb piece, and clip it back on the line. And as you can see right there, it cannot come undone.